Om. Greetings, divine blessed loved ones. So great to be here with you in July. Happy July 1st. I am a Cancer. My birthday is coming up soon, so I'm feeling great, and I hope that all of you are feeling great as well. Just taking in the beautiful summer energy and the long days and the warmth. Today, I would like to share with you a guided yoga sadhana for this month. So I encourage you to make time and space for this practice. If you are not able to be fully present with the practice right now, I encourage you to set aside time to just be with these practices and to really give yourself the opportunity to nourish yourself on a spiritual level and also on a physiological level and a mental level because these powerful practices that I share with you today, they have benefits on every level of our human existence, physical, intellectual, emotional, spiritual. Today's practice will include a prayer. We'll start with a prayer, and then I will share with you two beginning pranayam practices or breathing practices and actually today we will do these practices standing up so find a nice space in your home you could be inside or outside if you'd like and make sure that you have a spot perhaps putting down your yoga mat and I actually recommend doing these practices as part of your yoga asana practice so if you have a, a practice where you do the yoga asanas or postures, aka what most Westerners know, know as a regular yoga class, you can include these breathing practices at the beginning or at the end of your class, of your practice. So if you watch another video online of someone teaching yoga, or I also have videos online of myself teaching asana classes, and those are on YouTube, also feel free to reach out to me if you want a recommendation or aren't sure where to find them. So you can do this in conjunction with that class. And the two breathing practices I'll show you, the first one is called Breath of Life. It's an energizing practice. And the second one is known as Agni Sardoti or Fire Wash. And it's very good for anyone who has slow, sluggish, weak digestion, it actually stimulates what we call the digestive fire in, Ar in Ayurveda, the Agni. Agni Sour Dauti. Agni means fire, Dauti means wash. Okay, so we'll start with the prayer. If you haven't already, set yourself up. Make a space where you can dedicate this time to your practice for the next oh, 15 to 20 minutes or so. And as you're ready, just bringing the eyes closed, coming inward, noticing your internal experience, and stand straight up, stacking the hips directly over the feet, so putting your feet hips width distance apart, shoulders stacked over the hips, and crown of the head is pulling up, stacking your head over your shoulders. Imagine someone has a string attached to the crown of your head and is pulling you up. And then also plant down through your feet, lengthening the spine. I'll chant today's prayer, call and, call and response. This is a Sanskrit mantra. Sanskrit is the ancient language of yoga. So I'll do it in small chunks and I'll chant it and then I'll chant it again, the same chunk twice. The first time I chant it is just for you to listen. The second time you can try to chant along with me if you would like. And no worries if you're new to this, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
just matters the intention of love and devotion coming from your heart. And if you're not comfortable trying to chant, no worries. Just allow the vibrations to wash over you and enjoy them. This is called the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra. It's a healing mantra. And I'll read the translation in English after we're done. Beginning with an Om. Exhaling all the air out of your lungs and we'll inhale to unite our voices in Om. Inhale. Oh. Call and response. Om Haun Jun Saha. Om Haun Jun Saha. Om Pur Puva Svaha. Om Pur Puva Svaha. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Orva Rukamiva Bandhanan Orva Rukamiva Bandhanan Brichor Mukshi Amamrita Mrityor Mukshi Amamrita Swaha Uvaha U Om Saha Chun Haun Om Swaha Uvaha U Om Saha Chun Haun Om And I will put this Sanskrit prayer down in the description for you to read along with me. I know some of you mentioned that you would have preferred having text to read along, and I know that's also helpful for me. So if you'd like to try that again, you can rewind the video, go down to the text in the description box and chant along with me using the text. Om, we worship thee, O sweet God of transcendental vision, giver of strength, who liberates from death, O giver of prosperity to all, may we be free from the bonds of death, like a ripe fruit dropping from the tree. May we never again forget our immortal nature. Om. So again, this is the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra, also known as the healing mantra or the protection mantra. And when I was staying in the ashram in Sedona, we said this mantra every single time. We did anything, but... <laughs> We made a point of saying it every single time we got in the car to drive somewhere, we would chant it three times as our protection. And it has served, served me well. So it's a beautiful prayer. You can use it for so many different things. It's also very healing and beneficial when a loved one passes away. So I encourage you to use that in your daily life. All right, let's move on to our breathing practices. So the first practice is known as breath of life. This is an energizing breathing practice. Again, I recommend doing this before or in the middle of your asana practice. Or if you're just tired during the day, like say the middle of the day, 2 p.m. during the work day, you're sitting at a desk or something and you're feeling really low energy, this is a great way to get the prana moving and the energy flowing. The prana is our life force energy. So flowing through the body and will wake us up, bring fresh blood and oxygen to our brain. So it's really easy. I'll demonstrate and explain first, and then we'll practice together. So it's going to be a three-part inhale, 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 inhale. So moving the arms first forward, then to the side, and then up as we inhale, three small sips of air. When your arms are up, your lungs should be totally full of air, and then we're going to bow forward and let the air go <sighs> really forcefully. One, two, three, exhale. One, two, three, exhale, like this. And just to note, when you're exhaling, it shouldn't be forceful as in like you're about to pass out and you're like gasping for air and it's like anxious and stressful. That's not what we want to do. We want to make sure that our breath is flowing smooth and steady 
throughout our entire inhale and our entire exhale, but when I say forceful, I mean we're really pushing to get all of the air out. So we're going to really draw our abdomens in toward our, toward our spine, draw our, our belly in on the exhale, and that will force all of the air out of our lungs. So I'll demonstrate a few rounds. So when I'm inhaling, I'm inhaling through my nose, inhale, 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 and I'm exhaling ha, through my mouth. As soon as my arms start to come down, my mouth opens, ha, and I allow all of the air to come out. One more time, and I'm bringing my arms all the way back behind me to help create that more of that ha, just letting go action. So when we do this together, I want you to imagine that you're releasing stress, releasing tension, anything that doesn't serve you, just huh, all out of the mouth, just let it go. All right, let's practice five rounds together. Inhale, 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 exhale. Two more. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, and bending the knees slowly coming up. Just to note as well, we always wanna keep our knees nice and soft and buoyant with a little bit of a bend, especially when we're going forward so strongly like this to protect our tendons and our hamstrings. We don't wanna pull any muscles or any connective tissue. So always allowing yourself to bend your knees as generously as you need to. And of course, if doing this breath makes you lightheaded or causes any um, discomfort in the eye or the head region, then you're going to want to slow it down, make it a little bit more gentle. You could do something like If going all the way down is uncomfortable for you, you don't have to go all the way down. It's still going to give you the benefits of the practice because there's still movement and breath happening and moving the arms with the breath is going to allow more space in the chest cavity to inhale deeper and also to exhale more fully. Okay, let's move on to our second practice. Actually, let's do five more rounds if you're up for it. We'll do five more rounds of the breath of life all together. Ready? Inhale, 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 exhale. Two more. Last one. Let it all out, bending the knees as much as you need to and coming up slowly and gently. Beautiful. Let me know how that one made you feel. Okay, now we'll move into our second breathing practice, Agni Saraboti, the fire wash. Just wanna tell you a little bit about this breath. Look, you guys, this is my YTT 300 manual. It's a big, big book. It's literally like, I think 500 pages long. I love it. It's so full of amazing information. I love this yoga teacher training that I'm in right now. Anyway, so Agni Sardati, the fire wash. Again, Agni means fire. And then Ayurveda, that relates to the digestion. The fire element lives here at Manipura Chakra, also known as your solar plexus chakra. And the fire element governs this chakra. So this is, of course, your digestive tract, the place where your body converts food and fuel that you put into it into energy and making new body cells so that you can be healthy. So this breathing practice, Agni Sardauti, is known as the fire wash. Um, Dauti again meaning wash. So this practice is going to purify the entire digestive tract and increase Agni, increasing digestion. So if you're someone who has a lot of indigestion, um, acid reflux, heartburn, things like that, you may want to skip this one because it can actually make those problems worse. But if you have slow, sluggish digestion or irregular digestion, this can help. This practice can help with that. I have pretty weak digestion, so I like to do this one. It's helpful. Um, 
Okay. Purifies the abdominal region. Again, uh, reduces kapha. So if you guys checked out the Ayurveda um, little piece of literature that I sent you guys, it kind of gives an explanation of the elements and the doshas, which are the Ayurvedic mind-body types. So if you don't know what pitta and kapha are, you can go check that out and that will let you know this um, practice increases pitta and reduces kapha, stimulates the digestive fire, and strengthens the navel center and uddiyana bandha, which is known as the pelvic floor muscles. All right, I'll show you how to do it. So again, for this one, we want to have soft knees. We're going to bend forward and just keeping our spine really straight and tall. So I want you to, again, ground down through your heels. Imagine that someone has a string attached to the crown of your head. Just pulling you up, just like we set up at the beginning to draw some mountain pose. Stacking hips over heels, shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. And then grounding down through the feet, letting the spine come long. And then keeping this length in the spine, now we will bend forward. You can have a small bend in your knees as much as you need to, to be able to get your hands comfortably onto your thighs. And I'll turn toward you so you can see my hands. We do not want the hands on the knees. Never putting hands on the knees in these practices. Unless we're sitting down and there's like no weight or pressure on the knees at all. But basically, we want our hands pointing inward toward each other and resting onto the thighs as we sit back into this. Now I'm looking at you so I can talk to you, but you're going to be looking straight ahead. So face the camera like this so you can look straight at me and don't have to turn your head, okay? Again, keeping that spine long. We're going to plant down through the feet and take a full inhale here. And then we'll take a full exhale. So we're planting into our hands putting weight into our arms so that the belly can relax. Full exhale, belly relaxed, and then you're going to draw the belly in toward the spine, navel in towards spine. Just to practice that motion for a moment, again, inhale, you can come up a little bit, allowing the belly to expand, chest expands, the lungs fill, and then exhale, leaning forward again. Navel to spine, releasing all the air out and just holding for a moment with the breath held out. And notice how putting more weight into your arms allows the belly to relax and allows you to pull it in farther. Inhaling. Okay, come up for a second. So we're going to add some belly contractions next, but when you come up to inhale, I just want to say that we're not, again, gasping for breath. We don't want to hold the breath out so long and so strong that when we come up, we're like, <gasps> like we are dying or something. We want to, again, make the breath as smooth and gentle as possible. So I'll demonstrate first. We're going to do what we just did, full inhale and then exhale, drawing navel to spine. With the breath held out, we're going to take contractions of the belly. And then when you're ready to inhale, coming up a little bit, inhaling slow, smooth, full breath, belly expands, lungs, chest expand. <sighs> okay, so you're going to do as many contractions as feels comfortable to you as, uh, as time permits with the breath held out. So you're holding your breath out as long as you comfortably can and doing these contractions. Also, you want the contractions to be rhythmical. They don't have to be fast. They do have to be rhythmical. So moving at the same pace, one, two, three, four, rather than one, two, three, one, four. You know, I'm not doing that. We want it to keep really nice and steady. And then again, when you're coming up, making the inhale smooth and gentle. So you may only do a few pulses, but we'll try this together. So. Full inhale, getting into your stance. And then full exhale, allowing the navel to draw in toward the belly, keeping the breath held out in pulse. And 
pulse as many times as is comfortable. When you're ready, go ahead and stand up. Slow, full inhale. And just to clarify a little bit, it's a feeling like you're engaging the pelvic floor muscles, that Mula Bandha, and um, engaging Uddiyana Bandha, the belly. You're pulling, sucking it all in and up. So engaging all of the muscles in the pelvic floor and the anus area, pulling up the belly, sucking in the low belly, in and up. And since your breath is held out, it's not really like your breath is doing that at all. It's completely exhaled and then just using the muscles in your belly. So we'll try it again. Inhale fully, get into your stance and exhaling, releasing all the air, fully expelling air, drawing the navel to the spine. When all the breath is out, pulling the navel in and up and pulsing. As you're ready to inhale, coming up, gentle, smooth and subtle inhale. When you come up, standing tall in your mountain pose, Tadasana, bringing the eyes to close, hands at heart center, observing the effects of this practice. Includes our second breathing practice, Agni Sargauti. I very much encourage you to take a meditation of your choice at this point. So you can count Japa with a mala and count mantra. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on how to do that, an instructional video. You can chant any sacred sound that you like. You can chant Om. You can simply count your breath. You can listen to a guided meditation or just sit in silence and sit still and try to clear your mind. Whatever you prefer for you, I highly encourage you to take that at this point. For me, I notice that after I do breathing practices, it's much easier to meditate because the mind gets quiet, quieter at least. And before you go and do that, we will close our sacred circle today with another Om. So planting down through your feet, getting tall through the spine, hands to heart center. We'll unite our voices in the sacred sound of Om once more. Full exhale and inhale to Om. You are loved because you are love itself. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today, blessed loved ones. I hope to hear from you soon. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you beautiful souls. Have an amazing day.